Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a how-to video on how to make a what Jude calls a fruit fly blow dart. Uh, it's really, really ridiculously easy to make. Uh, you just need three things. Uh, a straw. This one happens to be a bendy straw, but it doesn't have to be a bendy straw. Uh, normal elastic band. And I use uh, this material here. Uh, it is a a uh, Weed Pro landscape fabric. It's got that tag on it. I've got a monstrous roll of it right here. Lots of stuff. It lets a lot of air through very easily, so it doesn't actually interrupt uh, airflow at all. Uh, and it makes a very good uh, filter for the blow dart. Uh, you can use uh, an old T-shirt if you want something like that, you just cut off a little bit of it and it works just as well as this. Uh, so, very easy what you do, you take the straw, take the fabric, put it over the tip of the straw, just like that, and use the elastic band to secure the fabric to the straw. Don't want it to be too tight, otherwise the straw will actually close up. Just just tight enough to hold it in place. You'll have something that looks like this. And you can still suck through it just like a normal straw. No problem. And what this lets you do is when you've got small enclosures for small nymphs that you're keeping individually, like uh, this here is one of my purple boxers, these L4. Just tiny. I keep them separate because I want them all to make it to adult. Um, you don't dump a lot of fruit flies into a small enclosure like that with just one little nymph. So what this lets me do is count a very small amount of fruit flies very easily to put into the enclosure. I just take my culture, I pat them all down, and as you can see they start running up the walls right away. They start running back up the wall. So instead of opening the lid and tapping them into the enclosure like most people do, you just you tap them down, you use the straw, and you open the lid and as they crawl up the walls you suck up one or two or three or however many you want. So, tap them down and so I got two Heidi eye in here. <clears throat> Pretty easy, you just cover the tip with your finger, they can't get out the other end. Suck to you put the lid back on here. Put that aside. Take your mantis cup. And what I do is I bind where the mantis is. He happens to be just over on this end here. And I very, I keep two fingers like this and lift the lid up very gently so that I don't expose uh, a lot of room for the mantis to run out and escape because your feeding time, your, uh, yeah, your feeding time becomes significantly longer if you're spending most of it catching the mantis again. So you just lift up the lid enough for the straw to fit just inside and you blow through here again to blow the fruit flies into the enclosure. Very simple. Uh, I've never ever caught a mantid's claws when doing it like that uh, and you can count out a small number of fruit flies very easily to give to a small mantis kept individually. That's why I use these. Now, let's say you had an enclosure like this, right? This is a 90 ounce container, and you can keep uh, a lot of communal nymphs in here, like ghosts or cryptics, or I have some odontomantis in one of those. Now, you want more than three or four or five fruit flies, so this could get clogged up very quick. You won't be able to suck up that many fruit flies with a little straw like that, which is where why I made one of these. Very similar, you have the straw with the material on it, elastic band, and then I cut a hole in a three ounce deli cup, like that, like you can see, and I hot glued it to the side to create a seal. And on the other side, I have just a normal straw, no cover, hot glued as well to create a seal. Now what this does is when the lid is on, this, this whole thing works the same way, it sucks things in, but this becomes uh, 
a container to keep all the flies in. So if you wanted to count out 10 or 15 or 20, you can still count it out just as easily. You just suck it through here. They come fly in here and they, they uh, hang out in here for a while. And it doesn't end up blocking this straw like it does with this. So you can catch a lot more in this and then you just put your funnel, whatever you use as a funnel, in the, the feeding hole, which is filled with a sponge. I use a the top of a 2 liter Coke bottle. And tap them down, open the lid, dump them in. Nice and easy. Works basically the same. You suck up uh, a, a number of fruit flies. Very easy to count, which is a, a big bonus to these. And this one will hold a lot more than this one will. So I use this one for individual cups like my boxers and towels are currently in, and I use this one for small communities like my Odontos are currently in. Alright? So, that's how I feed my little nymphs.